Green Rat. Hey. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. Wonderful. I devoured Pachinko. I absolutely adored it. I also loved the novel before that. And mm. I know that you divided your directing duties with your fellow director, Coco Nada. So I was just wondering when you first came on and you guys were deciding who is doing what, were there aspects you really wanted to tackle and leave your mark on? Or how did you decide who's doing which episodes? Yeah, when we, you know, when when we both signed on, um, it was to be honest, it was up in the air. <laughs> it was just a just a sort of a courting process, getting to know Sue and and um, you know personally, when I read four, that the first episode that I, I direct, uh, you know, it was an episode that I thought was just incredible because it felt like truly it had everything you know it had like a you know it had like a boardroom scene it has like a you know uh you know a goodbye scene it has a ship scene it has an opera scene it has so in that way i was just incredibly excited that that um sue thought i was uh, you know great for that episode and and uh it's the one that i i definitely want to leave my mark on it's its own movie you know and i i think that um it's bombastic. And I think it, it really did. It really does complement, you know, my style of filmmaking, um, in the, in the best ways I think possible. Um, so, you know, I mean, ultimately I think, uh, it was just exciting to work with mm -hmm. such an incredible team with Kogan. And I've known Koganata for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, uh, Sue, that it was just, it was all love. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, um, I also watched Blue Bayou last year and loved it. And I love how you tackle kind of immigrant stories and like the idea of the Korean diaspora, which I feel is very obviously very present in Pachinko, but also just even on set working with Korean actors from Korea or from the U.S., Japanese um, actors. What was that process like both on set and then infusing that same energy on screen? It's all I know how to do. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I think this, I think Pachinko is an immigration story. Uh, it's a new way of telling an immigration story, you know, and I think that's what's incredible about this show is, is the fact that um, it can be so relatable for so many, even though they're not the ones immigrating to Japan. Um, you know, and it just shows that 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 our experiences are much more collective uh, than we think. And then um, in that way, I think in its specificity, things become universal. And I I I, I just bring my perspective to things, and and um, you know, and I at the same time I don't I emotionally the 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 scripts and the book emotionally resonated with me and I don't try to get too meta and, and, um, too heady about things. I try to leave with my heart and I, mm. you know, that's what I did with this, this series. That's wonderful. Now, I think that I would be, my heart would be going out of control if I had to work with, uh, Yoon Yajang, who is a living legend. What yeah. was that like for you and, and working with her to craft like the culmination of all the sanjas we've seen? I mean, you know, she's she's a legend and she's so prolific in in korea um that i was incredibly excited um a really funny anecdote is you know my dad was a, a child actor and had worked with uh, uh yoon yo jung when he was young oh my gosh and he told me not to mention to her that they'd work together <laughs> and I, I did um and she just uh, she wasn't familiar for a second and she called me later that night. She's like, Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, and I, I probably know why my, my dad told me not to say anything because he was a kid. He was like 10 years old. He's probably like a little shit. And, and <laughs> you know, so, uh, but you know, it's all, it just felt like, you know, working with her just felt like it felt like family. Uh -huh. And and I think that's, what's beautiful about the show is, is, is there was just an intimacy that, that sometimes you don't feel on other sets that that was just throughout the whole um, production process. I think that totally comes across on screen. So thank you for your excellent work in providing me great entertainment.
Thank you. <laughs>